Mike Bradley, I hope you're doing well as always. So, in my last video, um, if you haven't seen it, there'll be a tag popping up now if you want to check it out after this video. Um, I was talking about you know, warm ups and getting your hand back in shape because I hadn't played guitar uh, for, for a good couple of weeks because I'd been struck with this horrible virus flu thing. Uh, which still wasn't fully gone away. It's now just turned into a cold, but let's leave that for one side. Uh, so apologies for sounding a little bit bunged up. But like I say, I hadn't played guitar for a couple of weeks and um, I wanted to talk about that, actually, about taking a break from playing the guitar, which may seem a very strange and uh, bold thing to say, uh, but I think there's some good truth and some good things what can come from it from taking a little break. Now, if I backtrack for a minute, um, just before going to Nam, so kind of from the start of the year really, um, I wasn't very happy with my guitar playing. Um, I was kind of feeling like everything I was playing just felt wrong, it sounded wrong. I felt my hands weren't synced with each other and I've got a feeling I expect it's what a lot of people think and go through. Um, you know, if you've been playing for five months or if you've been playing for 15 years or 30 years or 40 years, whatever, I think we all go through that uh, kind of uh, stage where we're just like, oh, I'm rubbish. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everything I'm playing is wrong. And I was feeling like that. Um, like I say, from the start of the year, really, you know, um, I just felt I wasn't connecting with the instrument and then when I went to Nam, even when I was kind of playing there and that, I was just, you know, I felt I was forcing everything out. I just wasn't clicking and I wasn't happy with my playing. I wasn't happy with my technique or anything like that. Um, and it was really starting to get to me. Um, I'm thinking about it now, I would be happy with my playing when I got rid of a plectrum and I was just using my uh, fingers. Um, then I was like, oh, okay, I can feel I can connect to the instrument a little bit and I started thinking should I just ditch the pick should I just get rid of that you know all these kind of ideas started going through my head you know um but I thought well no because I you know there's stuff I want to do with the pick and without I like that flexibility of it you no know, of uh you know hybrid picking or just the pick and just the fingers but I, I wasn't happy I was not happy with my playing and it was starting to get to me because you know we go now and then I think like I just said go through motions of you know for like a week or so not having my plane but it was getting to over a month and i really wasn't happy with it then i got ill stopped playing for a couple of weeks what well, could i couldn't and when i came back to playing the guitar and kind of you know got my hands warmed up using the ideas what i used in the previous video i feel such a connection again to the instrument um i'm i'm feeling not to sound too hippie here but i'm feeling at one with it um, and I said to a, a student who came around for a lesson the other day I was saying to her um, and not for this to sound egotistical or arrogant in any way but I felt I kind of feel at the moment like I can't play a bad note um, you know I'm, I'm happy with everything I'm doing I feel my hands are very in sync every morning I've been kind of practicing and getting my you know just warming up and getting my technique uh, into shape because I suppose the mindset of not playing for a couple of weeks I wanted to get it going and I feel everything's just connected much more now um, and I'm like is that because I've taken two weeks off is it because uh, you know the kind of psychosomatic thing in your head starts going round where you're like wait a minute that by taking a break now you know your brain kind of resets a little bit Hopefully I'm making sense by this mumble what I'm saying right now. But um, I do think something has happened from taking a break to, uh, I suppose, recharge the batteries. Now, I should say, if you're a beginner guitar player uh, and, you know, kind of certainly playing the guitar 
within the first year of playing, you don't want to be taking a break. I think you should be trying to play as much as you possibly can. Um, but if you've been playing for you know a good while, and you're at the situation where I was, where you know you were getting annoyed of your playing, I think it's kind of good to just take a little break. Or even if you don't take a break, you know, and and again, this is like anything in life. It's almost it's always easier said than done. But you know, and if if, if this ever happens to me again, I'm gonna try to take this advice where instead of like trying to work on your lead playing or whatever, you know, pick up an acoustic or pick up your lecture or whatever and play some chords, you know, or write a song or do something different instead of thinking, no, try and beat the thing to death. Like, come on, I'm going to get you. I want to get this, you know, thing. I want to, whatever I'm, I'm kind of working on with the plectrum, you know, if it's some kind of technique, uh, you know, picking kind of thing, uh, or legato or something, you know, because a lot of times we do, uh, I suppose, focus on lead guitar too much, where, you know, it's, if you're in a band, you're playing music, unless you're someone like Steve Vai does instrumental music all the time, um, you know, you're playing rhythm and lead, so it's good to kind of, you know, kind of just you know, know what I mean? Like, just kind of play some chords and, you know, write a song or learn a new song. It doesn't have to be a lead thing, you know, learn a Beatles song or something, learn some chords from that. And then I think somewhere that down the line, you're kind of resetting the brain. So then when you come back to doing, you know, your norm, if you're a blues player, if you're a rock player, whatever, you know, your, your hands start coming together again. I'm only going by what's happened with me here. And I think if this happens again, and of course it's gonna, it's gonna happen again. Uh, I think I will take a break from playing, you know, uh, and a, a game, easier said than done, you know, we're in, a, we're in a social media world where, you know, we're looking at our phones, especially, you know, us guitar players, YouTube and Instagram are our friends and you're on there and you're seeing these great guitar players and you're like, oh, you know, and then I suppose, you know, that can play havoc with your brain a little bit um, by kind of comparing yourself to you know this player or that player which is the worst thing you can ever do you never want to compare yourself to someone uh, because then you go down that rabbit hole of i suppose insecurities and you know that's a whole other uh gauntlet of life we uh we don't want to be worried about you know um you can certainly take inspiration from it um but yeah don't compare yourself to to anyone or think or oh, they can do that. I've been playing the same amount of time as them. Why can't I do that? All that kind of stuff. You don't, you don't want to be doing that. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to take a break if I ever get to this point again where, you know, I'm not happy with my guitar playing. Now, of course, with someone like myself, my job is playing the guitar. So, <laughs> so is it? No, I, I've still got to play no, the guitar to earn a living. Uh, and stuff like that. But I suppose when I'm saying taking a break regarding practicing, you know, and I'll just play when I need to play and that's it. Um, but at the moment, like I say, um, from taking a couple of weeks out because I was bedridden, um, <laughs> I'm loving the guitar right now. <laughs> you know, I always love the guitar. It's my, it's my, it's my love, you know, it's my, my passion, it's my world. Um, always love the guitar, but I'm really feeling connected with the guitar. So hopefully what you, the lovely viewer, can take from this is that we're all in it together, you know? And what I mean by that is that, you know, you're not alone in this journey as a musician, as an artist. I think the arts in general, performing arts, we're very critical on ourselves, and a lot of times it's a very, uh, very solitude, uh, environment you know when you're if you're writing or you know writing a song or recording stuff or doing videos or just practicing or whatever you know a lot of times you're on your own and then you want to get to the point where you've got other musicians to play with and that helps you grow as a musician as well and that can be another thing thinking about that if you are hitting a bit of um, you know a mental block and not happy if you're playing try and get with other players, other musicians, fine drummers, bass players, even another guitar player, keyboard players, whatever, 
um, could that can really um, boost morale massively by playing with other people and also you learn from it as well you know I'm, I'm so grateful of all the band I've been in quite a few bands over the years and I'm so glad that uh, I, I have and have been in lots of bands because it's helped me grow as a as a musician as a player and this has only happened a few times where I've been hating my playing you know um, but uh, but no I'm feeling very very connected and um, yeah, just loving playing the guitar at the moment, you know. I wish I could sing at the moment, but uh, that's a... <laughs> that will come once I get over this horrible flipping thing, but anyway. So has this ever happened to you? Have you hit a wall and not been happy with your playing in any way, shape or form? Uh, what did you do to overcome it? Please let me know in the comment section below and, you know, share with everyone. Um, cause it's good to share, you know, again, I look at YouTube as a big public forum and we can all share and share our stories and, uh, help each other out. You know, that's why I look at it anyway. So hopefully this video has been some help. I just thought I'd just have a little chat. Uh, it's been a while since I had a little chat. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it's kind of helped. Uh, thank you for all your love and support. Thank you to everyone on Patreon as always for being cool. Um, I still get messages from people saying, have I got any music? I do have music out. Go to iTunes, go to my website, mikebradleymusic.com. All the links will be in the description box below. And if you want to be really cool, you can get a Mike Bradley t-shirt, which shockingly I'm not wearing today. But you can get a Hope You're Doing Well, as always, t-shirt. All the links will be in the description box below. Uh, but no, let me know your thoughts and if you've had you know, uh, experienced similar things like I have been going through. And um, and if you are going through that right now, chin up, man. You no, know, take a break. Don't play. Don't pick up the guitar for a bit. Or if you do, do something completely different on it. Completely different. And then when you come back to doing your regular thing, um, I think there's some kind of reset thing happens in our sponge, which. Um, makes you think you know what you got this kid you're, you're all right you know anyway hope you're very good and well lots of love as always mike bradley considerably signing out bye the devil's on my side.